you've got a super high speed internet connection, but something just doesn't seem right. Video calls stutter, web pages act sluggish, and your video games always lag, resulting in weird visual effects, or even getting fragged. Despite you thinking you're pretty good at the game if you do say you're so yourself, so what gives? A likely culprit is a little known phenomenon called buffer bloat. No, it's not one of the new Pokemon that no one cares about. And any home network that has multiple users at once is susceptible to it. And even though it seems like the obvious solution anytime your internet is being slow is to pay for a faster connection, that won't actually solve this problem. Let's explain why. Imagine you're at a grocery store and all you're buying is a bottle of Mountain Dew and a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos, perfect for a romantic picnic that you've scheduled to be at in three minutes. You get in line, but you're stuck behind five parents trying to buy enough food for the entire clan for a fortnight each. It would be so much more efficient for them to let you skip the line and just check out, especially since you're in a hurry. But they're rudely refusing, and there isn't an open express lane in sight. I want some flaming Hot Cheetos. That is buffer bloat. You see, many real-time applications like gaming and video calls rely on getting out small bursts of information immediately. So if you're in the middle of Overwatch 2 and the server doesn't know you're trying to move your character out of the way because the packets that say crouch are stuck behind the trashy 4K reality series your mom's trying to watch downstairs, you're likely to get ganked. But how do you know if the problem you're facing is actually buffer bloat and not something else? There are different free tools you can use to measure buffer bloat. We're going to link one that's particularly easy to use in the description. But note, it's better to do this when your network is otherwise quiet and over a wired ethernet connection rather than over Wi-Fi. On our test, any grade below an A means that you have a significant buffer bloat issue. But never fear, as we'll tell you how to fix it right after we thank iFixit for sponsoring this video. iFixit wants to help you fix all of your devices so you never have to pay for a costly replacement again. From your Xbox to your toothbrush, iFixit has parts and guides for almost any device you can think of. They have over 70,000 step-by-step walkthroughs with photos to make it easy. Check out iFixit.com slash techquickie to pick up a repair kit and join the right to repair movement today. Buffer bloat can be fixed by making some changes to your router settings. Some routers support a feature called Smart Queue Management, or SQM, which can also be called Active Queue Management, or AQM. If you see these settings anywhere in your router's configuration menus, go ahead and enable them. There are some routers that try to make it even simpler, such as Eero Mesh Routers, which just have a toggle that says, Optimize for Conferencing and Gaming. Simple enough. Queue management basically works by detecting which of your network's traffic flows have small queues and letting them jump the line, <laughs> angering everyone behind them. To go back to our grocery store analogy, this would be like if a worker saw you standing at the back with just your Mountain Dew and Cheetos, the dynamic duo, and either let you skip to the front of the line or opens up an express lane just for you. <sighs> That's nice. Unfortunately though, many routers simply do not have SQM algorithms built in, including many of those fancy looking expensive gaming routers that you'd think would have such an important feature for, you know, <laughs> gaming. But the good news is that many off the shelf routers that don't have queue management can be modified by installing an open source router firmware called OpenWRT, which has a great algorithm called cake that isn't a lie. And actually many users have reported works wonders with buffer bloat. Alternatively, if you've built your own router, which is surprisingly easy to do as we explained in this video, you can enable another effective traffic shaping algorithm called FQCODL in the PFSense or OPNSense operating systems. You can even play with queue size limits and retest to get your latency down to the smallest number possible. But unfortunately, if none of the above scenarios applies to you, your best bet might just be to go out and buy another router that supports queue management. It sucks that many models can't effectively deal with buffer bloat out of the box, but having your webcam cut out in the middle of your next job interview could end up costing you a lot more money than a new router. Just make sure you put pants on before you stand up to troubleshoot. And I'd like to give you a standing ovation for watching this whole video. Hey, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other videos below and comment with video suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and follow or I will be pretty upset and I'll cry by myself.